Hello, I'm Norman Black, and welcome back to Burlington Black Sport. I'm here with my good partner, Richard Del Rosario, and of course, we're here at the halftime of the game between Hinebra and Magnolia. Hinebra up 49 to 38 here at halftime, of, and of course, the Hinebra fans are quite happy at this point. Yes, kahit nga magandang simula nito Magnolia, nakahabol kagad itong Barangay Hinebra, and so far, so good para dito sa Barangay Hinebra, Jim Kings, na nag attempt na makaangat sila sa team standings natin ngayon. Okay, well, let's discuss this game a little bit, of course, in the first half. It seemed to be a little bit, you know, fuzzy as far as the outcome because we know they got off to a good start, but Hinebra's defense was holding up pretty solid, and it, you really couldn't tell which way the game would go in the beginning, but every time Hinebra was able to get into the open court, they had a lot of success. That's right, especially nung una nga, yung, mga, yung Barangay Hinebra, they were trying to post up their guards, pero... Uh, Magnolia was prepared for that. They prepared good defense against the post of the guards. Kaya nga, lumamang kagad ang Magnolia start. Pero nga, nung uh, nagkaroon ng mga turnovers to Magnolia at naging open court basketball, doon na humabol itong barangay niya. We have prepared some clips for you on the defensive end of the court for the Magnolia team. We'll take a look at them right now. And it's going to show you how Magnolia has really been defending the post area. They were really prepared for the post game of Hidnebra. And you can see the help defense coming down right off the post there in the steal as the ball was attempted to go into the post. Once again, Hinebra has even been trying to post up the guards of Magnolia, particularly L.A. Tenorio. This time you see the double team coming immediately, really taking the Hinebra team out of their offense and forcing Hinebra to take outside shots pretty much out of what they really want to do. The thing is, on the other end, Hinebra has also been playing good defense, and that's been leading to a lot of fast break and secondary break opportunities for them, and that's where they've really done well. Doon nga lang bumawi yung Barangay Hinebra. They were struggling with their half-court sets, especially in the first quarter. Kaya nga lang, they turned to their defense to be able to get some turnovers and get some easy fast break points. You're right. The defense of Hinebra has been very solid in the first half. Let's take a look at some clips for the Hinebra team where their defense is actually going to lead to their offense, and this has been the best offense for Hinebra so far in the game. It has been their defense. Good steal there by Artadi. He's also going to complete that steal and he's going to be off to the races on the fast break. Good pass there to Ronald Tubid for the two points. That's one example of good defense leading to good offense for Hinebra in the first half. And it didn't necessarily have to be a steal. It's just good solid defense. This time Magnolia trying to post up. No double team as you notice. Just one-on-one -on -one defense there but good defense. Rafi Rivas with a good outlet pass. Once again, leads to a fast break for Hinebra, and it's going to be J.J. Heltebrand on the finish. And that's really been the formula for the Hinebra team in the first half as far as their success is concerned in their nine-point lead. Ayun nga eh. Para naman dito sa Magnolia, they were trying to establish the post-game of their big men. Pero prepared naman doon ang Barangay Hinebra. That's why they were able to uh, get some uh, steals and convert it into turnover points. Well, we'll see how Magnolia bounces back in the second half. We know they're a very strong team on paper. They haven't really shown it very much so far in this conference. They've been up and down. We're waiting for them to get on a roll. Hinebra also needs this win to try to get up to six wins and try to stay in the running for one of the higher slots going into the playoffs. Of course, if you want to email us, please email us at blacksboard at yahoo.com. Richard, thank you for joining thank us you, here coach. once again on Burlington Blacksboard. We'll see you next Sunday. This portion is brought to you by the new Petron XCS Complete Combustion System. Fuel your drive. Welcome po sa ating Patron Halftime Report. Ito sa labanan ng Barangay Hinebra at ng Magnolia uh, Beverage Masters. At nakita po ninyo ang uh, score. No? Labang po ang Barangay Hinebra ng uh, 11 puntos. At puntahan natin yung ating uh, webpage na binasa kanina, Jason. At uh, review natin kung ano ang nangyari dun sa mga sinabi mong dapat gawin ng dalawang kupinan. Upisahan natin sa Barangay Hinebra. Para sa Barangay Hinebra, we did say they have to make it a defensive battle. You look at the halftime score, it's 49 to 38. Magnolia is a team averaging close to 100 points a ball game. So obviously, it has become a defensive struggle para sa Magnolia. They're only at 38. Mahabang mahaba pa ang kailangan po rin ng Magnolia to make it their kind of ball game, which is an offensive ball game. Next is to get easy opportunities. Uh, Barangay Hinebra only shoots 39% from the field. We did mention that second worst in the league. Tonight, they have 44% dahil they were able to go on fast breaks, secondary breaks, tapos nakakuha pa silang puntos mula sa second chance points. So, Mandala Magnolia started off very well uh, in this game. As a matter of fact, sila po ang unang rumatsyada 
dito sa larong ito. But somehow, especially towards the end of the second quarter, ay eh, nakabalik yung Barangay Hinebra. And ito sa Barangay Hinebra game in the closing minutes of the uh, second quarter. Habang nagpapaikot ng tao yung uh, Magnolia, we did say they had a good start, they had a good middle, but in the end, that's what they, they, what they lost. Parang ganun yung naging story ng kanilang kumanan. Bad uh -huh. finishing kick. Well, we did mention para sa webpage, run the offense inside and out. Look, look at their field goal percentage, only 31%. Wow. They also have 12 turnovers. Obviously, their offense at this point is not working. Or maybe it's the defense of Barangay Hinebra that has been giving problems para dito sa Magnolia. Finally, they had to find a spark. Yes, there was a spark. Danny Siegel had 8 points and 5 rebounds in his uh, sit on the court. The problem is, itong starting unit ng uh, Magnolia, they did start out well but they did not finish well because the starting unit nila compared to the starting unit ng uh, Hinebra was outscored 38 to 22. Okay, tignan natin mga kaibigan kung sino po makakapag-adjust dito. Lamang nga ng 11 ang Barangay Hinebra but we've got a full half ahead of us. Abangan po ninyo yan. Meantime, this has been your Petron Halftime Report. This motion was brought to you by the new Petron XCS Complete Combustion System. Fuel your drive. World Flyweight Boxing Champion na si Nonito Donairen. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you for giving me all the support. But if I do fight, um, you know, support me and, and, and uh, I will do my best to uh, give you the excitement that you guys are looking for. Thank you. Hindi ho bagong uso na shoulder strap yun. <laughs> yun ho ang dalawang championship belt ni Nonito Donairen Jr. Yan po si Jr. na may hawak ng dalawang uh, belt, ano, yung IBF at saka IBO flyweight crowns. At uh, inuulit natin, ano po, katatapos lang po ng kanyang successful defense, his first defense of the uh, championship uh, crown against Luis Maldonado of Mexico. So, Montana, nag-upisa ang ating second half and Ronald Tubid adds on to the lead of Barangay Hinebra to make it a 13-point spread, the biggest in the game so far. Dorian Peña with another spin tries to get it back and it goes out of bounds in favor of Magnolia. Well, obviously, you know, uh, wala pa nga sa, sa huwisyo yung uh, laro ni Dorian Peña that this is his first game after a long layoff but he is still a major presence para sa Magnolia sa ilalim. Meantime, Don Antivaros loses the handle on the basketball and this is the way that Barangay Hinebra was able to erect a big lead uh, towards the end of the second quarter uh, sa kadahilanan po ng mga turnover na ibigay ng Magnolia. Meanwhile, J.J. Heffelman, Rafi Weavers tried to tip it in. There's Billy Mamarel grabbing the rebound. And Dorian Pena almost helpless underneath. Dahil dalawa yung uh, parang may mga spring sa kanilang mga paa. Si Billy Mamarel at Rafi Weavers na gumindag-gundagan. And Pena gives up the foul to put Rafi Rivas on the line. But si Rafi Rivas talagang lalamang yan kay Dorian Pena. If Dorian Pena is unable to put a body on Rafi Rivas, because Rafi Rivas is too long and too athletic para kay uh, Dorian Pena pag uh, bunutan ng rebound. Okay, Puluputan lang siya ni Rafi Rivas. Ano, Parang elastic man ito. Eh. Rivas makes one of two. And the lead is 14 para sa Barangay Hinebra. Gaya po na nabanggit natin, ano, gustong gusto po ng Barangay Hinebra na makaalis doon sa kanilang kinalalagyan ano, sa bandang ilalim ng ating team standings sa kasalukuyan. Danny Siegel, again trying to make things happen for himself, and on the rebound scramble. May mga chopping action tayo nakita doon. Si Ronald Fuli, again hoping na makakuha ng offensive foul. Didn't get it. Rafi Lee was having some problems. Kicked it out to Helferbrand. Here is Stupid. Voila! And Dorian Pena has the rebound. He knew Gulit Gulit the Rafi Lee but uh, Don, uh, Dorian Pena held his ground. Lordy Tugade. He didn't get on Mike Kadiwa. Inside, Danny Siegel loses possession. Here comes Helferbrand. Drops it out to Ronald Tubin for the twisting shot. 
and Tubid will again get two attempts from the strike. Para sa Maragay Inhebra, this is actually the start that they wanted. Again, able to cause turnovers on one side. Tapos nakakatakbo ulit sila. So, uh, right now, really putting pressure on Magnolia. Maybe even to call a timeout early kasi lumulubok agad itong kalamangan. Hindi pa nakakascore itong Magnolia rito, di ba? Sa third quarter. Uh, Samantala, so Ronald Tubid adds on to the lead of Barangay Hinebra. Kim Sina. So it is a 4 to nothing start here for para sa Barangay Hinebra in the third quarter. And uh, Ronald Tubid uh, makes both. So unti-unti pong uh, lumalawak, lumalawak yun. Itong uh, lamang ng Barangay Hinebra sa Magnolia. Jonas Villanueva looking at the post to Dorian Peña. Up against Billy Mamaril. Ayun na naman yung spin ni Dorian Peña that has not worked for him at all. <laughs> In this game, he's tried it about three or four times. And that's another turnover. And an open shot for Mike Kabula, but he doesn't make it. Danny Siegel recovers it at the baseline. Gets it over to Vinton Weber. Jonas Vinton Weber met by J.J. Helzerbrand. And the bounce pass inside and the The Lord to guard it for the easy two. And Magnolia needed that. They needed that to stop the bleeding and uh, to make sure that itong uh, Hinebra is still at arm's length. 14 puntos po ang abante ng uh, Barangay Hinebra. Helpful brand. Binubulabog ni Jonas Villanueva, but he got the pick. Not the shot, however. And Danny Siegel has it. Up to Jonas Villanueva. Villanueva, sinasalubog ni Mike Kagiwa. Balikulay ka Danny Siegel against Rafi Rivas. Ito yung sinasabi mo eh. Uh, Jason, hindi ba? Si uh, Danny Siegel, sinusok at sumata niya yung binis ni uh, Rafi Rivas kung uh, uh, makakayanin siya ka uh, abunin. Obviously, not in that situation and Rivas even had to, had to give him the foul. Ayun, iniwanan si Rafi Rivas at uh, tumawag ng foul or three-point play opportunity coming up here para kay Danny Siegel. Well, Danny Siegel already made up his mind that he was going to the basket yeah. even before he made that shot fake. So, Madonna Lordi Tugado had a beat on the rebound but lost it. That it is J.J. Helderberg. Michael Giwa, but up again, Dondon on the Veras inside to Ronald Dubit against Lodi Tugade. Mamarin is open. Kanina pa tinitira ni Mamarin yan. Kanina pa pumapasok yung mga medium-range jumpers. He has eight points to his game. And it is back to a 14-point lead para sa Barangay Hinebra. We talked talk about the good shooting of Barangay Hinebra and it has been Billy Mamarin who has not been yes. from the field. As it was, Jonas Villanueva scores a three-pointer. The impression of the January Jonas Villanueva that was a surprise hit from Jonas who was left uh, uh, by his lonesome there. And they're going to pass inside to Rafi Rivas and Dorian Pena as the last line of defense will now have four personal fouls. Better put on eight minutes and four seconds remaining in the third quarter. Pinapalala natin muli. Para po dun sa hindi nakapanood ng first game, ang nagwagipo ng Coca-Cola over Welco, the score Coca-Cola 86, Welco 72. At si Asi Taulaba, sabi nga natin, naglagot ng uh, game na yun. There's the coach, uh, Binky Fabis. Uh, medyo mas relaxed na siya ngayon naman. Sarap manood! Oh. <laughs> Four game winning streak, the oh. hottest team in the league right now before today's game the two hottest teams were Santa Lucia and Coca-Cola halos eh di umaisip na yung dalawang team na yun ang magiging hottest team at this point of the conference Rondamal Tiveros from a broken play uh, Magnolia right now going in a lineup that is extra large dahil ngayon nilipat na nila si Danny Siegel as their wingman really looking for a formula that works uh, so far, they've cut the lead down to 10, but ayun na naman si Billy Mamarin, no? Ano yun pa yun, namumulit ng puntos niya sa, sa area na yan, eh. Talagang ayaw magpintis nito si uh, ah. Billy Mamarin. 5 out of 5 from the field. And the ball's are inside. Tumama yung bola sa sapatos ni uh, Rafi Rivas. So that will stay with Magnolia. As Enrico Villanueva is brought back into the action for Dorian Peña, who has already picked up four personal fouls. Villanueva, Jonas. And we'll give to Danny. So Danny, the was open on the sideline, on the side. But you can see the reaction of Barangay Hinebra. 
Magnolia goes extra large. Anong gagawin ng Barangay Hinebra? Sumuha na sila para hindi sila pahirapan ng mga malalaking mama ng uh, Magnolia. Steal by Jonas Lindenow and this time Daddy in the front to make sure talaga <laughs> ginawa ka niya. Tinignan pa niya yung bola. Nandito ka ba sa kamay ko? Kulang na lang punasan niya muna yung kamay ko. <laughs> Kasi kanina po, hindi ko ina, but uh, Uh, break away layup ni Danny El Defonso naging isa siya nabitawan niya sa area yung bola and now Magnolia comes back to cut the lead down to 8 59-51 dyan na po ko magbabalik ang PBA Butari to Saturday at the Coliseum for the game between Barangay Hinebra and the Magnolia Beverage Masters with 6.43 remaining in the third quarter. Lamang lang walo ang Barangay Hinebra and that Kagiwa scores. Sabay ng Pito. Aside view ba yung ginawang tila rito si Mark Kagiwa? Ito makikita ninyo. Ang hirap na malaki. Oo. Parang pinakita pa yung pangalan sa cameraman natin eh. <laughs> Baka nakalimutin nyo dahil bagong ahit yung uh, ulo ni Mark Kagiwa eh. Kakatuwa eh. No? Bagong oh. ahit ang ulo. <laughs> And it is back to where we started here in the third quarter. An 11-point lead for Barangay Hinebra. Danny Siegel is black by Rafael Rebus. How long are his arms? And Siegel almost getting it to go. But he didn't come out, and uh, he will try and get the two points from the free throw line. The Madara can even go back to timeout. Ito yung nangyari. Ginawa ni Danny Il De Pronso. Talagang tinigla pa niya yung bola. And then went up for that hop. So, dunk. Yakult every day, every day. Okay, sigurado ka chan. Yakult slam dunk. Kutsi of Danny Il De Pronso. Here's the other Danny. Siegel rattles it out. One of two by Danny Siegel. And it is a 10-point lead. Para sa Barangay Ginebra. Kagiwa. Pinabatean ni Dondonon Pigaros. He goes the other way. Met by Danny Siegel. Open shot! For Ronald Tubid. Tina Tresyan. Kami sa inyo. Ni Ronald Tubid. But the guards of Barangay Ginebra are just lighting it up. Ito, Mark Kagiwa, Ronald Tubid. They've all been very good sa larong ito. El Defonso. Too much muscle behind the shot. Hunterbrand, forward to Kagiwa. Kagiwa swords. At ito, rumaratsada na naman ang Barangay Hinebra behind the 10 points so far scored by Mark Kagiwa. And they are leading by 15 at 67-52. We'll take a short break. Ayan po mga kaibigan, pumatsada na naman ang barangay Hinebra. They've established a 15-point lead. Kaya po napatimeout itong Magdolia Beverage Masters. Don Donald Devers has it. Oh. Big point passing here by Magdolia off the timeout and Daniel Defonso scores the basket para mabawasan ang bagya itong abante ng Barangay Ginebra. If you look at the leading scores so far. Right now, you can see those three guards, Tubid, Kagiwa, and Elterbrad, they are leading the way and Billy Mamaril, perfect from the field, you know, has given them a lift mula doon sa big man. Big man. Rafi Rivas. Uh, using uh, his size to the help there. Well, the boy, ayan naman yung uh, touch passing, you know, ng uh, Magnolia Beverage Masters resulting in Enrico Villani Rebus 2. At uh, muli, binibara naman ang uh, abansa ng Barangay Rebus 13 at 69 to 56. And look at the shot box story there. Anong para sa Barangay Rebus? Tubid Labake Siegel, there's a tap by 
sink of two seconds on the shot clock and now you're the down. the top. And offensive rebounding here by Barangay Hinebra. That's compounding the woes of Magnolia at the moment. A plus 24 second shot clock here. Barangay Hinebra, Heltebrand, Mamaril, Remus, but talaga yung mahaba ang kabay. Tubinda, Artani, and Heltebrand takes it. We have Tres Young. I think it's going to be J.J. Helmerbrand. Nakakita natin doon ang pasensya na pinakita ng Barangay Hinebra. Para, kaya para sa Magnolia, pasensya na lang kayo dahil oh. ang ganda talaga na naging pasahan na yun. Ito, L.A. Tenorio cross with the Don Donon Tigaros. Down low to Enrico Villanueva. Back to Antigaros with the rest of the three-point shot. Not there. And the rebound to Billy Mamaril. Binigay kay Ronald Tubit. Tumatakbo na naman ang Barangay Hinebra. Pull up. Check roll by J.J. Helmerbrand. Nabanggit natin kanina, Magnolia going with three big men. What happens when you have three big men? Yung yung defense, especially when it comes to fast breaking, will suffer. And ito nga, Barangay Hinebra has really run Magnolia to the ground. Kaya po naman, uh, tumabot na sa pinakamalaking abante ngayon ng Barangay Hinebra. And the biggest lead of this game, an 18-pointer. As we go for a timeout and you watch this three-point shot that it's again a bagong TM Discarte Sim. 30 pesos long by bagong Discarte ka na. KJ Helderbrand there. Pagkatapos yung dito niyo ng two-point soon. He currently has 16 points, four rebounds, and five assists. What a game here for JJ Helderbrand tonight. So mga tamang meron pa tayong three and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Para sa mga higala sa Kabisalog sa Mindanao, maayong gabi ka ninyong tanan. Kung sa mga tugnatug na na katupunan hong diya. Gilis Manila, Mawanda. Tenorio inside to Enrico Villanueva. Off line of that shot. But it's a defense of Barangay Hinebra. Parang pumasok na sa ulo ng mga big men ng Magnolia na susupalit-palit sila. Especially Rafi Rivas has really made an impact. Ayan pa, pumasok pa si Eric Menk. And the fast hands, quick hands of uh, Paul Artadi, knocking the ball away from uh, Lordi Tugade. Here's Tenorio. Going the other way. And underneath the basket, Masikip. And Villanueva missing that. That is the West Gonzalez with a game game. And then Tenorio to Villanueva. And there's Paul Artadi doing what he does best. And then we're back to the back of and Mark Aguila having some problems and Lele Tenorio takes away from it. It is a four on two. And you know the man doing a touch pass in Magnolia. Serving them well in that particular situation. Well, you have to credit Danny Hildebos. So, ilang beses niya nang ginawa yung mga touch passing na yan. And he has really opened up a lot of layups para kay Enrico Villanueva. And Hildebos continues to sizzle. The interest in the man, Galik A. J.J. Helderbrand. Now the guards of uh, Barangay Hinebra continuing to outplay the guards of Magnolia. Ito si J.J. Helderbrand already with 19 points. We did see his line kanina. Kompleto-kompleto yung uh, stats niya. May rebound, may assist, and he just made that big three-point shot. Samantala, tinawagan ng foul si uh, Paul Artadi. At ito. Quick inbounds play para sa Magnolia. Uh, referee uh, Herrera holds play. Teka, sobra ba player? Ano ba ito? Kulang. Kulang ng player. Ang uh, Hinebra. Hindi pa nakakapasok si Salvasyon no, kung binigay yung bola. Paano ba yun? Sino ba may kasalanan nun? Yung, yung Hinebra o yung referee? <laughs> We're gonna check right now with the table officials. Okay, so the referee says that uh, okay now, so inadvertent whistle right Ayan. there. Explain inadvertent. Kasi ang sinasabi nila, nandun naman si uh, Mark Kagiwa. Nasa loob naman ang court. Ayan. Hindi nga lang nakita. Dahil hindi pa naman kasi pumapasok si Sunday Salvacion. Well, Coach John Wichiko uh, seems to uh, think otherwise. At uh, nagre-reklamo si Coach uh, John Wichiko. Uh, sabi naman ni Coach uh, Tankinson, Teka, siya naman magre-reklamo, pwede rin ako magkita. <laughs> Sino pakikinggan? 
Well, I think Magnolia, you know, we're having quite a lull here. It's already about a minute that we've had this lull. Yeah. This could go uh, in favor of Magnolia kasi halos lahat na ginagawa ng Magnolia para lang uh, mahanap kung anong solusyon dito sa juggernaut ng uh, Hinebra. This little lull can be a way para mawala yung uh, momentum oh. ng Barangay Hinebra. Barangay Hinebra. Barangay Hinebra. Barangay Hinebra. Barangay Hinebra. Barangay the 30-second uh, timeout is called. So, matalang ang ating uh, score at tumatayu po sa 77 to 58. We'll pause for some reminders. Sa Saturday, sa Kalusyo, mga kaibigan, at uh, eto, napakarami sigitin. Hanapin nga natin, at if you could see the hot dog, the fan bike. Siguradong marami yan na nandiyan na, na, ng makataan itong uh, kanilang paboritong uh, hotdog. Ayun siya! Medyo malaki-laki itong uh, napili niya. <laughs> Pure Goods TJ Hot Dogs Van Vibe brought to you by Pure Goods TJ Hot Dogs. Kids can tell. Maya Pabengi po kay Kongan. Yan sa ating mga kaibigan. Uh, sa Uy! Andito na pala si Santa Claus. Napaaga. <laughs> okay. Yeah. O, yun, paalala po. Nine days before Christmas. Medyo na iinitan sa Santa Claus kaya naka-short sleeves. Naka short sleeves? Oh. Tsaka nangayayat? Oh, <laughs> ano? Medyo... <laughs> Nag-jeta yata. Dala na pala ngayon, camera hiningi ko ah. Kaya nang ginamit ah, ba't ginamit? <laughs> Elder Ponzo, back to the basket shot and Enrico Wiganaba tips it in. Again, Mark, uh, it's a Rafi Rebus changing that shot of uh, Daniel DeFonso. But Magnolia has to realize Rafi Rebus is a shot blocker, so that opens up offensive rebound opportunities. But that always makes it go to JJ Held the gun in the wrong court. I think it's LA Tenorio, the bounce pass to Rafi Rebus, broken up. Here comes Wesley Gonzalez. Do not have to look at JJ Held the gun to Rafi Wesley Gonzalez. Ito yung sinasabi natin kanina, may momentum yung Barangay Hinebra, we had a long lull, and right now you can see itong uh, Magnolia, silang ngayon yung may, uh, ma mas magandang simula pagkatapos yung lull ngayon. That's right. Sabi mo nga, no? ah, it could be to the advantage of Magnolia. Tignan natin if they can uh, uh, snatch some more pluses from <laughs> J.J. Heldebrand is up! And at the Tia Tres, galing po kay J.J. Heldebrand. And that is certainly a dampener para sa Magnolia. Matara Danny Ildefonso and Rico. Basketball count. That's time to lay up his glove with a foul. Uh, para dito sa Magnolia, the only thing that seems to be working for them is interior passing because the defense of Hineva is so good on that primary uh, post-up threat. E napipigilan nila. They have to look for a second and third option. Doon lang sila nakakuha ng puntos. And well, fortunately for Magnolia, Enrico is able to complete the three-point play. Rafi Rebus! Nabitawan at tumama yung uh, bola sa kanyang binti. On uh, the pressure being put by Lordi Tugade. Tenorio. Let's put a minute to go here in the third. Will the bounce off to Tugade, there's the pick, there's the shot, and the miss. Rafi Rivas comes out with a rebound. And Paul Arcadi recovers it para sa barangay. He led by 35 seconds to go on the third. Salvacion, Rivas, Eric Brink, Malikulike Salvacion, Arcadi pulls up. Yes! Well, that's a good job of Paul Artali not settling for that three-point shot. Ang ginawa niya, he took that one dribble, lumapit siya. The nearer you get to the basket, obviously, tataas yung field goal percentage mo. At uh, lalo na uh, nag-build na po siya ng kumpiyansa no? sa kanyang jump shot. Wesley Gonzalez misses. And look at Paul Artali go. And pinigilan uh, siya ni L.A. Tenori with that foul. Uh, pag ganyan kakabilis, talagang babalento ka na gusto. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> na talaga alam doon uh, mga kwadsa ng Magnolia kung anong gagawin nila dito kay uh, Paul Artadi. Uh, they just had to give up that foul because they did not want itong uh, Barangay Inebra to get an opportunity for another uh, fast-break opportunity. Hey. At uh, nagre-reklamo si uh, Olay Tinori na tinapakan doon niya. <laughs> or si Helter Blanta nagre-reklamo. 
Parece que no quiere el campo. I'm going to put this as third quarter to JJ Helper Brand. Also, put this has got a total of 22 points. At the first part, the third quarter, the score 82 65 in favor of Parangay Hineba. At the Gil Senior and San Miguel Beer Pale Pulsen. And Beer, no more Katulan. We'll be right back. a big help. He runs the offense very well. He gives us the speed that's needed. He gives us the hustle and the energy of the bench, which is uh, malaking bagay sa amin yun. Uh, tulay na malaking bagay po ang ginagawa ni Paul Artagi rito. No? He has been uh, the strike for uh, Barangay Hinebra other than J.J. Helderbrand, of course, uh, sizzling hot in the third quarter with 11 points to his day in a total of 22. At saka sa lukoy, ito si Jeti Puntos po ang labang ng Barangay Hinebra over Magnolia. At yan po mga numero ni uh, Paul Artagi. A couple of those uh, shots actually were from mid-range. Yeah, a couple of mid-range shots. Yeah. Para naman dito, uh, you know, uh, Coach Jong was saying that, uh, you know, he's been a big help because he brings the energy. And you know when you're playing for Barangay Hinebra, if you're an energy guy, you will be able to bring the crowd into Yo. the game. At yung ginagawa ni Paul Artadi comes off the bench and he's able to bring in that energy. So hindi lang sila merong uh, Ronald Tubit, meron pa sila Paul Artadi na nagpapa-inject ng crowd. And Tati on the buzzer with a good play. I don't need the basket. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, sistema nito si Paul Artadi, pati nga yung mga fans ng kalaban, eh, napapasigaw. Eh. So ang <laughs> pinagagagawa niya, so sobrang bilis eh. Right now, he will set up the half-court play para sa Barangay Hinebra. And referee Herrera saw something there. But obviously, for Paul Artadi, he has found the home. He really struggled his first couple of years with uh, pure food. Yes. Ito, nakakahanap siya ng bagay sa kanya. And Paul Artadi senses that... Uh, L.A. Tenorio was focusing his attention on something else. And he attacks. And Tenorio will be called for his fourth personal foul. But it's been a treat watching L.A. Tenorio and Paul Artadi in this ball game dahil parehong mabilis eh. Kaya lang, medyo nakakahilo eh. Pag silindan mo. Sigurado nakakapagod para sa'yo. Ah well, oh yun na nga eh. Nagkakanda balubulok to things yung nasabi ko pagka silindan mo ang nagtatakbuhan eh. Lintis Parejo. But Paul Artani gets it back. Loses it now over to the sideline. With a minute lang ating fourth quarter. At uh, labang pa rin po ng uh, Kingse. Ang Barangay Hinebra at 82-67. Nasa Magnolia ang bola. Daniel DeFonso. And DeFonso. Nice pirouette. And now to Enrico Villanueva. Hinabal ni Eric Mink. And a foul is going to be called on him. Actually, para kay Billy Mamarillon. At pang-apat na ni Billy Mamarillon, the first big man of Hinebra that is in foul trouble dahil yung isang may foul trouble kanina, si Paul Artadi. All right. One more for Rico, medyo malakas. Uy, L.A. Tenorio from behind, Billy Mamaril. Tapping that ball. At binabana ng Magdolia ang labang ng Barangay Hinebra. Dose na lang. At ito si Paul Artadi, hinahabol ni L.A. Tenorio. Sumesenyas ng play. Si Paul Artadi, inabot ni Ronald Tubig. Some razzle-dazzle play here. And as Artadi has got the baseline, Meron tulak daw kami si Daniel DeFonso, pangalawa on him. Second personal foul on Danny I. Tubid from way out! Yeah! DM Tres! Danny K. Ronald Tubid! And again, it's the guards of Barangay Hinebra. Every time Magnolia has made the run, itong mga guardsya ng Barangay Hinebra has found an answer. Kanina, ito J.J. Helterbrand, Paul Artari has hit a couple of big shots. And of course, Ronald Tubid right there. Ito naman si Enrico Villanueva out to pass by L.A. Tenorio. Lumabas ang bola. Tumihingi ng foul si L.A. Tenorio. Wala po tinawag. Artari. 
Sunday Salvation. Again, Thailand is on corner. And Jordi Tugani grabs the rebound to Wesley Gonzalez. The last pass to Danny R. El Defonso. Uma atrás lá para queimar Marilla. Good break. But I see the difference of styles for both teams. On one side, ito naman Magnolia, yung mga malalaki nila ang gumagawa ng puntos dito na dito sa second half especially. And Ligo Villanueva and Daniel Defonso both with 16 points. Sunday Salvation, this is up from the, or rather si Guala and Tumid and Tumira. And Sunday Salvation went up for the rebound. So the time of Akin siya, loose ball foul. and a half minutes remaining in this game. Wesley Gonzalez. Umatake. Off the glass. Yes. Now finally, an incursion mula sa mga guardia ng uh, Magnolia. Magnolia now cuts the lead down to 11 and uh, they're doing this dahil lang ang Barangay Hinebra without JJ Helterbrand on the floor and also without Mark Kagiwa on the floor. Sunday Salvation keeps it alive para sa Barangay Hinebra. Ronald Tumida at the corner! Hey! Pasok na naman ng TN3 ni Ronald Tumid. Now you just have to locate ito si Ronald Tumid. That's already the second uh, shot of Ronald Tumid na sabihin natin pamatay suno. Grabe talaga. Ito naman si Lordy Tugade. And he's got to get hot for Magnolia. Pero nabitawan ng bola, Rafael Rivas gets it over to Tubid, eight and a half minutes to go. And it's a huge 14-point lead now, once again, para sa Barangay Hinebra. Ito na si Tubid, ginabas kay Eric Beck, sinaman ang titiro ng Tres! At that time, Tenorio, forward to Enrico Villanueva, yo-yo shot! Nothing there, baksakan yung dalawa, oy oy! Si Tubid at saka si Enrico Villanueva, medyo nakakakawag pareho. So para kay Enrico Villanueva, nakita natin na uh, his foot uh, may have hit the body part of itong si Ronald Tubid. Habang naka... <laughs> Habang na, nasa sahig. Nakahilata sila pareho sa sahig, ano? Eh, nagkikisay yung dalawa, nagkatamaan. Tignan natin kung ano po ang desisyon ng referee. Flagrant foul, penalty one, and Enrico Villanueva. Flagrant foul, penalty one. Flagrant foul, penalty one. Para kay Ronald Tubid, he has already gotten the goat. If uh, mapapansin natin kanina, he's already gotten the goat of Danny I. This time around, ito si Enrico Villanueva naman. But he did pull down Enrico. Itang kita yun. Enrico, oh. not like that. Sa pull sa mukha. Sinipa naman ni Enrico. Ito si Ronald Tubid. Kaya pala. <laughs> Well, we did uh, predict that it was going to be an intense ball game. Oh. Well, it's intense. Parang uh, automatic. Nakasama siya si Ronald Tubi. Ay, siyempre. Nandiyan din si intense na Paul Artadi, intense na L.A. Tenorio, Enrico Villanueva. Pero hindi, hindi lang intense in 20 space. <laughs> Eric Mack loses it. Kinsey, ang lamang ng uh, Barangay Hinebra over Magnolia with 8.07 remaining. And we have this timeout. Barangay Hinebra, laban sa Magnolia Dito po sa Renata Coliseum Uy, siya nga pala, no? kilala naman ng Pinoy Na magaling sa kantahan at pwede niyo patunayan yan Sa nalalapit na Asian Idol Sa ABC5 Kasali dyan ang ating first ever Philippine Idol Na si Mau Marcelo, kaya kung gusto ninyo yung Pinoy Ang maging first ever Asian Idol Huwag po tayo magpapatalo, bumoto na po tayo To vote, just text Vote, space country 1 
space country 2, then send to 2959. So sa bawa text po, two countries and dapat din i-voto. Voting is open till 11.30 p.m. of December 16. So start voting now. Ano nangyari, Jason? Lloyd, Grande had a layup, but he missed it. So, and out of frustration, getting a foul. Lloyd, ito, Grande, he was the best player nung unang beses na naglaban sila. Ngayon, sa larong ito, napakalayo ng production niya. Again, a comparison on offensive rebounds and second chance points. And with that... Had to change the shot Dahil may matating na shot blockers It seems Lahat na lang tira ngayon Pumapasok na para dito sa barangay Hinela Lahat ng klase tira Ramadana dito naman sa Magnolia Haba ng nasigo ni Ronald Tubig And Danny Ildefonso says Ano ba yung sigo mo? At tatawagan ng technical si Danny Al Well, Ronald Tubid has really controlled this ball game. This is at his pace. Siya yung gumagawa ng rason para ito yung mga players, ng mga big-time players ng Magnolia to lose your cool. When you lose your cool, you not only give out these free points, pati yung style ng paglaro mo, nawawala din eh. Ito mo naman yung sigo ni Ronald Tubid. Kanya na yung rebound. Ito naman si Danny Ay. Hindi nakapagpigil. Haba-haba ng sigil na yan. Sasabihin naman dyan niya, eh bakit ang tagal-tagal niya namang hawak yung bola? Eh, pwede naman natin paghati-hatian yan. Well, mission accomplished para kay Ronald Tubid. Samantana, mukhang merong platoon substitution dito. So, Coach Shot Tangkinsen na naghihintay. Really cannot find the right mix sa araw na ito. Itong Magnolia. Ito no, sabay-sabay ko na lang papalitan dahil kailangan, bagong timpla na talaga. Ito, timpladong timpladong masarap ang Sun Big Light para sa mahaba-habang hulitan, mahaba-habang katuwaan, mahaba-habang inuman. Sun Big Light. Nakangisi na itong mga barkada natin dito dahil na lalasahan na nila yung Sun Big Light pagkatapos ng laro. Ronald Tubid at the line. And he gets one. Disinway mo na naman ng abante ng Barangay Hinebra. Also Rizella on the court right now. First taste of action in the second half para sa kanya. Uy! Baka si Bando. Bando ng Tiveros. This is lose ball. Picked up by Tiveros himself. Rizella. Balik ulit kay Dondo. Down low to Danny Siegel against Graffy Rebus. Siegel goes the other way. There's going to be a foul. At the start of the year, itong Barangay Hinebra had so many pieces missing. One of the big pieces na nawala, ito si Rafi Rivas. Because of the defense that he brings. Kita mo naman right here, that shot blocking. Of course, he was called for that foul. Merong ganda talaga dumipensa nitong si Rafi Rivas. He is their actor. So, Madala Danny Singh misses the first free throw. Naimbag na rabi. Hindi ka laun yun. At yun pala sila kapit. At saka si Long Mejia nagsishow. Ha? Tawag sa kayo dyan, at yung mga paboritong komedyante, si Kapit at si Long Mejia, nandiyan sa La Union. 6.50 remaining in the ball game. Rafa Rivas almost lost it. Healthy Brook! And he got it back! He had pressed the ball. Got it again, J.J. Healthy Brand. He's got 26 points. Daddy Siegel loses it. Para dito kay J.J. Healthy Brand and Ronald Tubit, their combination is a total of 51 points that is more than the entire starting five of uh, Magnolia. And Barangay Hinebra has broken this game wide open. There is this question they have gone to Antiveros. He's had to bleed for his points. He only has six so far in the game. Ronald Tubit. How's your back? Ito si Helter Brand ang isang malaking tinik sa kagiliran ng Magnolia. And Rafi Rivas handled the ball last. This is the way we put this ball in the hubble ng Magnolia. And he called Dini Reva. Tumihin. Ayaw talaga. Loose ball. Helter Brand. Quick hands on the part of KJ Helter Brand. That ball is so hard to control. And Enrico Villanueva 
Luke Acting. Hindi nawakan kasi yung paan niya oh. in Sunday Salvation. So, oh, oh, Sunday Salvation. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nagawa ko doon. <laughs> okay. Pero yung importante doon eh. Mabilis siya nag-sorry kaya oh. hindi na naging issue eh. So much for sister teams. <laughs> And Sunday's out of the second line, makes the first. And uh, Villanueva is pulled out by Coach Sean Tankinsen. Big one in the man. Para kay Enrico, he might be already too hot under the collar. Masyado na mainit. Ito si Enrico, kaya pinaupo na. On the ground. Picks a foul number three. Dorian Pena. On the ground of Danny Siegel. Silipin natin yung matchup ni Mark ni Calagio at saka ni Offensive foul on Danny Siegel. He's getting frustrated. Well, Rafi Rivas is doing a good job on Danny Siegel. And Siegel is feeling it. Kung ilan siya nakakaramdam ng ganyang kahaba na kayang sumabay sa kanya in terms of quickness as well. Ito, assist numbers. Beverage Masters only 15. The Kings with 26. And to note pa naman, ito pa naman mag-doja yung number one assist team sa liga. At saka kalahin mo, ang dami mga outside shots ng Barangay Hinebra. Pero mas marami pa rin siya ng assists. Ang dami mga three points. Sa batala ko nga ng Echo Art Design Play, yun yung magandang pasa ni Eric Meng to JJ Hungerband underneath. At yan po nga ng Echo Art Design Play of the game brought to you by Unlimited by Mark Echo. Uh, Ronald Tubin going out right now. It's a safe leap. Or uh, maybe a target pa ito si uh, Ronald Tubin. Uh, uh, he has been uh, getting the goat of a lot of uh, the uh, beverage masters. Uh, he has gotten under the skin <laughs> of uh, the Magnolia players. Ah, but but to say, second to second. Danny on the ball zone, now up against Rafi Rivas. The handoff to Siegel. Uh, he gets away with the slam. Sinagurado na nito si Danny Siegel because he knows na umaalikit-alikit na naman ito si Rafi Rivas. Under five minutes to play. At dainty pa rin ang abante ng Barangay Hinebra. Here's Eric Mink. Counter Brand! Not that time. But he has scored the bundle here in the second half. Ito, talagang si Olson Rosella, gigil na gigil na makatulong sa kanyang kumpunan. And he drew a foul. Two shots for Olson. Samantara, panorin natin ang ating low fear, fearless move of the game. As you look at Nordic Tugane riding high, our fearless move of the game brought to you by No Fear Underwear. That's the last point. Also, Rosella making both. Ooh. Calagio trying to muscle his way against uh, J.J. Hunterbaum that gives it the foul. Nasa penalty po ang uh, Magnolia. So, bibigyan ng dalawang free throws si J.J. Hunterbaum. Bagamat, napakalagin uh, ito ang uh, laman ng Barangay Hinebra. Hindi pa rin natitinag yung ating mga kaibigan dito sa loob ng Araneto Coliseum. Ha? Pinipiga nila ito na rin ito. Yung uh, iba sa kanya, nandun sa pintuan, pero ayaw tumuloy. Oo, oh, eh. baka sa kanya may mangyari mo. <laughs> And, uh, well, some of the Hinebra fans, ay gusto nilang damdamin, ano ha? Itong uh, mukhang uh, panalo na ng uh, Barangay Hinebra, baka kita man lang sila. Ang magandang panalo para sa Barangay Hinebra. As Benny Mamaril uh, reached for that shot. 
Pero tumama sa kamay ni Danny Sugo sa panglimang personal foul on Billy Mamaril. First is good. Tunghaya naman natin ang ating buhay Coke shot brought to you by Coca-Cola. Makikita niyo magandang layup ni Rico Villanueva. Lahat ng shots magaganda at walang katulad. Kaya ang buhay Coke, buksan mo! Good to go by Danny Siegel. Paul Artani, again, quickens the pains para sa barangay Hinebra. Cross court to JJ Helderband. 4 minutes and 12 seconds to go. 18-point lead para sa barangay Hinebra. They're not in a hurry here. Mamaril! Wala. Unang minti si Billy Mamaril niya. Pero ito pa na nalalasa yan sa medium range jumpers. Siegel! Team Fresia! Galing kay Danny Siegel! Para sa Magnolia, they still think there is hope. Now the lead is just down to 15. Pwede pa rin yan. Mahaba pa ito. 3.45 to go. Wala ang tani. J.J. Helderberg. Time to book the clock here. Eric Bick inside, got past Dorian Pena. That was a simple. Oh, nakikita natin, it's Casey Meng, he's still faster than Dorian. Really, Dorian, kumbaga parang he still has seen eggs. Yeah. Nice hand off to Dorian Pena. Nothing can look a pass. Right now, Barangay Hinebra is willing to take those kinds of exchanges. Basta sila makashoot. And Paul Artani misses on the running jumper. Perhaps not the kind of a shot that they wanted to take at that particular juncture. And on the rebound play, referee Herrera will call it against Billy Romarelli. He'll foul out. He was holding on to the uh, shorts of Dorian Pena. Six fouls. Foul out then. She, uh, Billy Romarelli. Kinse, ang lamang ng Barangay Hinebra with 2.53 remaining. Marami pang pwede mangyari dito, ha? At yan po ang free throws story naman. Sampu na namimintis ng Magnolia. Walo naman sa Barangay Hinebra. Para sa Barangay Hinebra, they have outshot Magnolia in every which way. Mula sa free throw line, they have shot better. Mula sa field, they have shot better. Mula sa three point line, they have shot better. That's why they have, you know, they they still have this fifteen point lead. And obviously, it's because of their defense. Aside from, of course, yung sa free throw line. Dahil di mo na naman yun adi depends ahan eh. That's right. Pero, eto si Rafi Ribes ay kinakausap ni Coach John Uchiko. And also trying to melt the clock there. And also trying to, uh, dahil nararamdaman niya, yung Magnolia eh, nagahabol na eh. Yeah. One way or another, they were trying to get momentum. Yes. That long lull almost served as an entire timeout. And Dorian Peña says, so what? Lalo gumanda pa yung free throw shooting niya dahil doon sa break na yun. Oh, napaliktad. Oh, we epekto. Oh, oh. And pressure in the backcourt being applied here by Magnolia. Helderbrand gets it over to Sunday Salvation. In the front court, Rafi Rivas is held down. But it seemed that was the plan of Magnolia. Dahil pagkahawk na pagkahawk ni Rafi Rivas, they fouled right away. Now they're gonna test ito si Rafi Rivas if he can make free throws. Malaki pa rin yung oras na yan. 2.46. Rivas misses on the first. Alalahanin po natin, ano? Itong dalawa ko po lang ito, parehong galing sa talo. At mga reversal in the end game. So, they'd like to get that out of their system. Rivas gets that one to bounce in. Nelson Rosera. Christian Calagio. Calagio dribbles it off his foot. Pataka mo na. Referee changes his mind. He says somebody touched it last. So, balik balik sa Magnolia. Rafi Reed is very unhappy about that. Pakiramdam niya, ito mama sa paan itong si Christian Calagio. Olsen Rosella. 
The bounce pass to Danny Hill Defonso. Turn around, jumper by Danny. What up? Loose ball, Eric Mink. Here's JJ Hunter down into the front court. So that was a critical possession for us at Magnolia. They needed a basket there. If uh, itong rally aspirations nila ay eh, mabuhay pa rin. Elder Brand thought about it. Ronald Dubin. Mink wide open. So that could have been a clincher right there. Dahil biglang tumaas yung kalamangan up to 16. 12 points para kay Eric Mink. Oh, Tio Tresian. Galing kay Chris Colagio. As we go into the outlast two minutes. At yung tingin ng outlast. Maintenance free batteries. Walang dagdag barrels sa tubig. Outlast batteries. Third foul on Chris Calagio. So para kay uh, Chris Calagio, may not have been a good foul because Please looking at their bench, they had certain targets to be fouled. Dahil gusto talaga nilang magbigay ng free throws, but obviously not uh, dito kay Ronald Dubin who has been hot sa larong ito. Ang daming tumutok para din sa Barangay Hinebo. Eh, no? Isang high school si Ronald Dubin, J.J. Hunterband of course, at uh, lately, si uh, Eric Meng, kanina si Billy Mamaril, Paul Artadi, and on defense, the bulwark there was Rafi Rivas. Halos hindi na nila kinailangan. Ito si Mark Kagiwa. Actually, in the fourth quarter, ni Anino ni Mark Kagiwa, hindi na natin na Tama, oh. uh, Yes, the luxury of cooling his heels uh, dito sa fourth quarter. And Danny Sigo, this is that one. Eric Meng gets the rebound para sa Barangay Hinebra. Under two minutes uh, here in the uh, fourth quarter. And uh, keeps it. Ang hinahabol ng uh, Magnolia na sa Barangay Hinebra po ang bola. Tubit playing the long court. Artani goes for the jump shot. Wala. Dorian Pena para sa rebound. Forward to Chris Canagio. Canagio. Pinigay kay L.A. Tenorio. Tenorio trying to get closer inside to Dorian Pena. Who had to change his shot. 116 remaining. And Tenorio stops the clock with that foul. Yeah, still a lot of fight in this Magnolia team. It's a 13 point lead, but they're looking for uh, free throw uh, shooters of Barangay Nebra that will miss. Uh, pero, ito, eh, kanina, Ronald Tubit final nila. Maganda nila runyan. Actually, 12 out of 14 from the free throw line. JJ Helterbrand is the top man para dito sa Barangay Nebra. Because he already gets his 30th point of the ball game. Grabe. Oh. At uh, dito sa second half, ano? Disinwebe na ginagawa niyan, including 11 in the uh, third quarter. Ito naman si uh, L.A. Tenorio. Contra Pectus. And Barangay Hinebra also dominating the boards now. Help the band. That's right, not expecting it, mga Magnolia Beverage Masters, not expecting that JJ would go for that shot. Eh, sabi naman ni JJ, alam ko na magagawin mo, papaulin nyo lang ako, di... Play up ko na, gawin ko na three-point play. Muli, pinapaalala natin, ano ha, yung pong Asian Idol. Kasali po dyan sa ating first, ang ating first ever Philippine Idol na si Mau Marcelo. Kaya kung gusto ninyong Pinoy ang maging first ever Asian Idol, huwag po ninyong kalilimutang bumoto, ano ha. To vote, just text VOTE, space, country, space, country 2, then send to 2959. Sa bawat text VOTE, two countries ang dapat nyo i-voto. Voting is open to 11.30 p.m. of December 16. So bumoto na po tayo. Mackie Escalona is brought in for the first time here by Coach John Chico. Tumira sa nabas si Chris Calagio, Tia Impresyon. Galing kay Chris Calagio. That's one of the few three-point shots mula dito sa Magnolia. They did not shoot the ball particularly well from the three-point region given that ang dami-dami lang three-point shooters. Toto yan. And Tumit just taking it easy. After uh, another hard day's night. Parang hindi bagay, no? Two bit, making it easy. Ayan, no? Two bit, that's right. Here's Chris Calagio. Nothing there. Daniel of the Pancho. 17 seconds to go before we call it a Barangay Hinebra victory here over Magnolia. And... Uh, 
want to run down the clock here, but uh, but I'm going to have your fans edging back to Escalona <laughs> to take the shot. And then instead, he passes it off to Paul Antoni, who will get, uh, I think, that shot will count. But anyway, whatever it is, whether it's counted or not, this will count as a major Barangay Ginebra victory just when they needed it most. Dahil po nagkukumahog po sila sa may bandang ilalim ng ating team standings at mahigpit ang pangangailangan ng Barangay Ginebra as referee Herrera uh, reviewed uh, the tape and declared it uh, as a basket. Ayan po ang ating final score, 115 to 100. Barangay Ginebra winning this one. Ang score, hatid sa inyo, ng San Miguel Beer Trail Person. Ang beer na walang katulad. Meron pa tayong mga paalala. Babalik po po kami. Nandito po po kami sa Roneta Coliseum. Meron pa tayong mga unfinished uh, uh, business na kailangan po nating uh, ipa, ibahagi sa inyo. No, ha? Ayan, kasama na yung uh, nakatayo na yan dyan sa gitna <laughs> na San Miguel Strong Eyes. Sarap-sara niya pagkatapos nito. Boom sa party ni uh, uh, Bobby uh, Villarosa. Abang sana mga kaibigan na ito ang ating uh, Gatorade Turning Point. Atin po sa inyo ng uh, Gatorade. Panoorin po natin ang pangyayari dito. Ito ang layo ng tikada ni uh, JJ Helderman. Ilan yung mga pinitawan niyang ganyan dito sa second half. And that is the Gatorade Turning Point brought to you by Gatorade. Is it in you? At uh, syempre pa, kailangan po natin uh, ipahatid sa inyo ang ating best player of the game, Ronald well, Webb. Well, it was tough with choosing between, between him and J.J. Helterbrand. Pero Ronald Tubid, he has a conference high in points and a five assists. But more importantly, yung ginawa niyang depensa, eh, talagang nawala sa wish yo uh, ang uh, mga beverage masters. Wala sa focus din. Oo, oh, oh, eh. So yes, he is our best player of the game. So mga kaibigan, ang uh, mga laro sa darating na Miyerkules ay sa Puneta, Askelo po sa Pasay. Upisan po na ng ating buhay PBA ng alas 4.30 para tasusundan ng Air 21 versus Talk and Text at pagkatapos ng Talusia versus Alaska. Kanina po, nanalo ang Coca-Cola over Wellcoat 86-72. Barangay Hinebra over Magnolia 115-100. Sangalan po ni Jason Webb at sa lahat po namin mga kasamahan sa ABC5 at ng PBA at pick some po lamang. Damang kasalamat sa inyong katalang kasangkayan. Good night and see you around.